In this video, we're going to be discussing the top five streaming shows that you probably haven't heard of that are both educational and beneficial for the homeschooling family. Because we've all had those days where the homeschooling agenda didn't go as planned, and being able to send your kids off to watch something on TV while you come up with an alternate lesson or just take the day off is always appreciated. So to start things off on the list with number five, you can stream right now on Disney Plus, and it's called Epic Adventures with Birdie Gregory. You see, what I believe to be one of the problems with National Geographic shows is while the videography is stunning and in the image Images that they're able to get of these animals is unbelievable. The pacing and the narration can be incredibly slow. However, this is where the Birdie Gregory series comes into play. He basically treats the show like a YouTube vlog. He's talking to the camera. You see how he's setting things up. In my opinion, it's everything great about the National Geographic shows without all of the pacing problems that can come with it. With his format of the show, he is primed to keep your kids' attention for way longer. Right now, there's only one season. I hope they'll make more, but there are five different shows and they're about 45 minutes in length. It has a rating of PG, the language is pretty much non-existent and as I said and the videography is just as good as one of these Warner Herzog documentaries but in addition to that his pacing is so much better and it's just going to be much more entertaining for your grade school learner at home. Number four on the list is a show that you can stream on Apple TV and it's called The Reluctant Traveler with Eugene Levy. Most of you if you're part of my generation remember Eugene Levy from movies you're probably not letting your kids watch. Nevertheless he's aged very well and this is a show you probably wouldn't think about letting your kids watch however they can definitely learn many topics about sociology and geography as he travels all over the world to these exotic locations as he's getting out of his comfort zone and learning quite a bit about the cultures that he travels to. For example, I learned on his episode when he traveled to Japan that the city of Tokyo is the largest city on the entire planet and it is more populous than the entire country of Canada. So it's geography facts like that, plus learning how other cultures live, especially on the episode of Finland when he's up staying in ice hotels, learning about their culture. Apparently, according to the show in Finland, when you go to a friend's house for dinner, you have to cook. If I had to cook, I probably wouldn't visit any of my friends. I'd probably just stay home. So again, with topics like geography, sociology, this is one of those shows that you probably wouldn't consider, but they can definitely learn a lot. Like the Birdie Gregory National Geographic show on Disney Plus, there's only one season. There are eight episodes in this season, however, but they're a little bit shorter at 35 minutes. But again, it's a very entertaining show to watch as he travels all over the world learning about different cultures. Number three on the list, we're going to switch streaming platforms one more time and go over to Netflix. And I'm going to recommend a show called Explain. Now this does come with a disclaimer. Disclaimer. The rating on this show is TV Mature Audiences because each episode certainly has a different theme and as you can tell as you scroll through some of these themes are more adult themed than others. So pick some of these out. So while this show definitely has many educational episodes that are age appropriate for a lot of children, you might want to filter through these first and decide which one you want to let your kids to watch. For example, they have an episode in season three that deals with nothing but hurricanes, the history of hurricanes, how they form, meteorology. It is very educational. It is very age appropriate across all homeschool age kids but as you can see some of the themes you might want to avoid but again it's not just the hurricanes episode they have episodes about chess they have episodes about skin and anatomy and there's a total right now of three seasons with about 20 episodes in each season so you've got plenty to choose from the episodes in this series however are a little bit shorter at about 20 to 30 minutes but again if you just need a break and you want to make sure your kids are watching something educational this can be a good alternative just be careful which one they watch though and make sure it's something you want them to learn about so we're going to stick with netflix for the number two series on our list and it's called mystery lab now this show is really great the pacing is great the graphics and the animation are great every episode is very educational it's a Age appropriate it would absolutely be number one on the list but there's one problem it's in Portuguese so bear with me for a second if you give this show a try if you've got older kids and reading is not a problem this is actually a very entertaining show to watch and it's incredibly informative they have episodes ranging from topics from the black plague to Bermuda Triangle it's a really great show and who knows maybe the more people that watch it maybe they will do some English audio overdubbing but I promise you if your kids can give it a try and they can stick with reading the subtitles down at the bottom they will learn a lot and especially about random topics that you probably don't know about as a homeschooling educator okay so without further ado no recap because you can of course hit the rewind button number one on the list goes back to disney plus and it is called limitless with chris hemsworth this series has actually been out quite a while it has gone for one series each episode lasts for about an hour i wasn't terribly interested in watching it but once i did sit down and especially watched it with my family this is the first series that i would recommend you actually watch with the entire family it definitely focuses on health and longevity which are good for the adults in the room to hear but in doing so they discuss a lot about the anatomy and physiology behind some of the techniques that they're incorporating into their daily lives the graphics when they do it are pretty good in addition to anatomy and physiology they discuss immunology and longevity it's very informative
Okay, so pardon the interruption, it's a couple of days later and I'm editing the video and I realized I forgot to mention this book on human anatomy. If you're doing units on anatomy or biology or happen to be watching streaming shows like this and your kids have questions that you don't feel comfortable answering, instead of sending them to the internet, a book like this that we've been using is great. It's very illustrative. The reading is perfect for your upper elementary or middle school age kids. I'll keep this brief. There's more information and links to the book in the description below. Back to the video. There's a little bit more foul language in this episode than all the others, and some of the more illicit language that is pretty rare is bleeped out. In addition to learning a lot about the anatomy and the human body, it really spends a lot of time talking about how to adapt to stress in everyday life, which of course is good for the adults to hear, definitely good for the kids in the room to hear, so that's why it's number one. It's good for everybody, it's educational, and it's a fun show to watch. So that concludes the top five streaming shows of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'll figure it out in the metrics and maybe I'll do a follow-up. Until then, I'll see you next time.